Well, when you realize a UFC title shot at 170 pounds, that is saying something. Most people would argue this is as deep as any division in the UFC. And this man, undeniably the number one contender as he makes a run to He has separated himself from the back. The only person left is the champion. He has done everything necessary to be viewed as a guy that could hold his championship belt. Now's his moment. He has got to lock in for 25 minutes because it's going to take all of that 25 to beat this great champion. Big spot for this young man tonight. Well, and a lot of his UFC experience, he believes, is going to help him in this setting. He's been measured with his energy all week. Nerves do not appear to be an issue. We'll see if by night's end. champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise at the fighter meeting. He is focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go. And he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on the stage. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready, he's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Big land there. Perfect execution on that team. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That was a hard body kick. Big shot to the body. Huge block there. Jab snaps the head back. Circling to his right. Oh, and he caught the kick. Real quick leg kick. Nice shot there by the chair. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. The right hand just misses. Back and forth we go. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. And there's that jab. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Great commitment to the kicking game. 
Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice punch here. Beautiful jab there by the chair. Ooh, sidekick. Well timed there. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Whoa! Well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's has to try to find that shot again. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Straight right, he misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Head kick is blocked. Final seconds here in round one. Takedown defense holds up. Separation of the clinch. That's oh, next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment. But it is a testament to this fighter in the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Out of range with that kick nice. attempt. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Push kick there to the body. Nice combination there. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Block that kick to the body. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Just over three minutes to go now. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Well, 
Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace on uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Two minutes to go in the round. Straight punch, useful. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a ton behind it. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to him. 30 seconds to go in round two. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready, Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. <laughs> Able to check that kick as well. Back and forth we go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Misses with the right hand.
Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, switch kick lands for him now. Nice straight right hand. Oh, nice elbow. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice leg kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. 90 seconds to go in the round. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Some separation. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Tremendous body kick lands from this guy. That is how you scramble, folks. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Investing in the body with the kick there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Nice, high kick. Soften him up. Massive knee to the body. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the big. Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? You ready? Go all right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get... Oh! Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Wow. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight.
Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Just misses there with the left. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Right, that's a big strike right there. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Good job blocking that shot. Oh! So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Uh, he works the body as well as anybody on the roster. Well done with the combination there. All right, so the body attacks continue to be the story in this fight and looking really bad at this point in time, DC. Toughness only goes so far. And, and why do we have to rely on the toughness? I think right now we are in a position where the team has to start taking a look, where the official has to start taking a look. Because sometimes you gotta save the fighter from themselves. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He like figured that. the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. That's a beautiful body kick. And potentially a critical takedown here. Under a minute to go. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Big ground and pound. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the other side. He's hurt bad. if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again, and why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready fight. Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. 
Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. They laid it all on the line. They dropped a quarter in the middle of the octagon, and they said, let's go. What a round. Just out of range with the big right hand. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Oh, my goodness. This could be it. That was a big check. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, well, that cut is only getting worse, champ. I'm not sure if it's time to call in the ringside physician, but we got a bloody mess on our hands now. Yeah, bloody mess. This guy's almost unrecognizable. Oh, oh he's hurt, he's hurt. Oh, big left hook there. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. That's a nice jab by him there. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least you can give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh! Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right. Oh! Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly leg. seconds to go in the fight. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. One minute to go in the fight. And back to his feet. Mixed martial arts, folks. This is absolutely crazy. Both fighters dealing with critical damage and cuts. There's blood everywhere. Fans, stand up and... Oh! That'll do it! Look out tonight. Gotta think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man.